He is known for being a Russian novelist, short story writer, essayist, and journalist. He is recognized for his exploration of the human condition in 19th century Russia. He is Fyodor Dostoevsky. In the 19th century, amidst the tumultuous political and social atmosphere of Russia, a brilliant mind emerged, destined to leave an indelible mark on world literature. Fyodor Mihailovich Dostoevsky, a novelist, short story writer, essayist, and journalist, was hailed by literary critics as one of the greatest storytellers of all time. Born in Moscow in 1821, Dostoevsky was captivated by the world of literature from a young age. Immersed in fairy tales and works by both Russian and foreign authors, he developed a keen understanding of the human condition. However, tragedy struck at the age of 15 when his mother passed away, shaping his perspective on life and infusing his writing with a profound sense of introspection. As a young man, Dostoevsky embarked on a journey that would challenge both his intellect and his faith. Though he initially pursued a career in engineering, his literary aspirations beckoned him. He ventured into St. Petersburg's literary circles, gaining recognition for his debut novel, Poor Folk. Yet, his involvement with the Petrushevsky Circle, a banned literary group, led to his arrest. Sentenced to death, he stood on the precipice of eternity, but fate intervened, sparing his life at the eleventh hour. Imprisoned for four years in Siberia, Dostoevsky's spirit remained unbroken. His time of seclusion allowed him to delve deeper into the complexities of the human psyche, which would later find expression in his works. Upon his release, he endured additional hardships, including exile and financial struggles. Yet, amidst it all, he continued to write, capturing the essence of Russian society in novels like Crime and Punishment, The Idiot, Demons, and The Brothers Karamazov. Dostoevsky's literary prowess transcended borders, captivating readers worldwide. His works explored philosophical and religious themes, delving into the depths of existentialism long before it became a recognized term. The profound influence of his writings extended beyond the realm of literature, inspiring philosophers like Friedrich Nietzsche and Jean-Paul Sartre, as well as shaping the emergence of existentialism and Freudianism. As the pages of his novels were translated into over 170 languages, Dostoevsky's legacy evolved, becoming the inspiration for countless films and influencing generations of writers, including his fellow Russians Anton Chekhov and Alexander Solzhenitsyn. Through his intricate storytelling, Dostoevsky revealed the intricate tapestry of the human soul and forever cemented his status as a master of world literature. Fyodor Dostoevsky, one of the greatest Russian writers of all time, was deeply influenced by his family's ancestry and their connection to the Russian Orthodox Church. On his father's side, the Dostoevsky family descended from Danilo Irtish, who was granted lands in the Pinsk region in 1509. The family later took on the name Dostoevsky, after a village called Dostoevo. This noble lineage instilled in Dostoevsky a sense of tradition and a strong religious background. On his mother's side, Dostoevsky's ancestors were merchants, while the male line on his father's side comprised of priests. This combination of religious and merchant heritage shaped his worldview, leading to a complex understanding of morality and spirituality. The blend of these influences would later manifest in his works, exploring the depths of human nature and the struggle between good and evil. Dostoevsky's father, Mikhail, was a medical doctor, and the young writer witnessed the hardships faced by the poor and marginalized through his father's work at the Mariinsky Hospital. This first-hand experience with human suffering deeply affected Dostoevsky's philosophy, and he became keenly aware of the complexities of human existence and the moral dilemmas faced by individuals in society. In 1828, Mikhail's promotion to collegiate assessor elevated their social status to that of the nobility, allowing the family to acquire a small estate in Derevoy. It was here, away from the bustling city of Moscow, that the family spent their summers and where Fyodor would find solace and inspiration for his writing. The idyllic countryside surroundings and the stark contrast between the privileged nobility and the impoverished masses further influenced Dostoevsky's perception of societal inequality and the existential struggles of individuals. Dostoevsky's ancestry, rooted in Russian Orthodox Christianity and the diverse backgrounds of his family, laid the foundation for his philosophical and moral inquiries. His exploration of the human condition, the complexities of good and evil, and the search for meaning in existence continues to resonate today. Through his masterpieces, Dostoevsky prompts readers to confront the moral dilemmas and existential challenges that arise in daily life, urging them to delve deeper into their own beliefs and values. Fyodor Dostoevsky, growing up in the lower-class district of Moscow, had a childhood that laid the foundation for his philosophical insights. Raised in a family home on the grounds of the Mariinsky Hospital for the Poor, Dostoevsky often encountered the patients who resided there. Playing in the hospital gardens, he witnessed the struggles of those at the lower end of the Russian social scale. 
These early interactions with the marginalized would shape his understanding of human suffering and the complexities of life. From a young age, Dostoevsky was introduced to the world of literature. His nanny, Elena Frolovna, immersed him in heroic sagas, fairy tales, and legends, fostering a love for fictional stories within him. At the age of four, his mother used the Bible to teach him how to read and write, opening his mind to the power of written words. His parents exposed him to a wide range of literary works, including the works of Russian writers like Karamzin, Pushkin, and Derjavin, as well as the Gothic fiction of Anne Radcliffe and the romantic works of Schiller and Goethe. These early literary influences had a profound impact on Dostoevsky. He was particularly influenced by the works of Nikolai Gogol, whose storytelling style captivated him. Dostoevsky's parents, though strict in their approach to education, fueled his imagination with nightly readings, bringing his literary world to life. The vivid stories and moral dilemmas he encountered in his childhood would later find their way into his own writings, shaping his narratives and characters. However, not all aspects of Dostoevsky's childhood were filled with enchantment. Tragic events and encounters left a lasting impression on him. At the age of nine, he was faced with the horrifying reality of a young girl being assaulted by a drunk. This traumatic incident haunted him, and the theme of the desire of a mature man for a young girl would often feature in his later works, such as, The Devils, The Brothers Karamazov, and, Crime and Punishment. Despite his delicate physical constitution, Dostoevsky was known for his hot-headedness, stubbornness, and cheekiness. His devoutly religious father sent him away to French and Chermak boarding schools, hoping to shape his character. However, Dostoevsky felt out of place among his aristocratic classmates, feeling like an outsider within the privileged world of the Moscow school. This sense of displacement and the tension between social classes would become recurring themes in his novel, The Adolescent. Fyodor Dostoevsky found himself at a crossroads after the death of his mother in 1837. Along with his brother Mikhail, he was compelled to join the Nikolaev Military Engineering Institute in St. Petersburg, leaving behind his academic pursuits for a military career. However, Dostoevsky's true passion lay in art and architecture, making his time at the academy less than fulfilling. His classmates recognized his unique character and interests, respecting him for his bravery, sense of justice, and compassion for the less fortunate. Despite his status as an outsider, Dostoevsky's reclusiveness and deep connection to religion earned him the nickname Monk Photius. While studying at the academy, signs of Dostoevsky's epilepsy started to manifest, possibly triggered by the news of his father's death in 1839. The cause of his father's passing was attributed to an apoplectic stroke, but there were rumors of foul play instigated by a neighbor seeking personal gain. Although the accusations turned out to be false, the lingering doubt plagued Dostoevsky's mind. Despite these adversities, he persevered in his studies, passing his exams and attaining the rank of engineer cadet, allowing him to live off campus. In his free time, he would visit his brother Mikhail and immerse himself in the vibrant cultural scene, attending various artistic performances. It was during this period that Dostoevsky's life took an unexpected turn. Introduced to gambling by his friends, he became enamored with the thrill of risking everything on chance. Meanwhile, he struggled to find success in his early literary endeavors, with his translations failing to make an impact. These financial difficulties pushed him towards a new endeavor, writing a novel. Fyodor Dostoevsky's youth was marked by personal tragedy, isolation, and a longing for a path that aligned with his true passions. As he navigated the challenges of his military education, he became increasingly aware of the fragility of human existence and the complexities of justice and morality. These formative years would shape his later philosophical and literary works, where he explored the depths of the human psyche and grappled with the eternal questions of faith, redemption, and the search for meaning. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.